Hi guys, this is Peugeot 307 SW from 2005 and today we're going to talk about the ABS. There's a common problem with the ABS with this car model and I'll show you how it looks like. So when you start the engine you get the error on your dashboard and it looks like that. The one to the left is that I don't have the seat belt and my handbrake is on and of course my lights. But the ones on the right, that's the ABS and the ESP which is connected to the ABS. So how to diagnose your ABS system to get to know what's wrong? First of all, we need to jack up the car. I happen to know that my ABS system failure is caused by the sensor on the right rear wheel and I know that because I've connected to the car PC with PP2000 software. If you'd like to do that, I strongly recommend that because you narrow the problem to one of four wheels. I've done a video showing how to connect Peugeot Planet 2000 to your car's PC, so I'll include a link for you in the description and I hope it helps. Okay, so if you take a look under the car, you will find your ABS interface there. To disconnect it, first of all, you want to lift the pad that is here and pull the whole connection. And you can see you've been pressing on this part to remove the connection. Now, to disconnect it, you need to pull this interface up and pull both cable interfaces away from each other. Now we can check the inner pins and see if they are corroded or not. Most likely not, but if they are, you most likely need to replace your ABS sensor or the cable if it is on the other side. And of course, this is the cable interface for the ABS sensor and this is the cable leading to your PC. Now we will go under the car, take the multimeter with us and we will measure the resistance of the ABS sensor. So in order to do that, we set the multimeter on ohm, which is the unit for resistance. And then whatever you'll see here is the amount of ohm. Uh, now just a quick check so you see there's almost no resistance in the screwdriver which is correct it's just a, a steel rod so now we're going to do the same under the car so there you have the resistances around 70, 70 ohm. Now we can also have a look at the resistance with our fixed arrangement. Okay, so now you have the second sensor on the right rear wheel and let's connect it. That's the first one. First one is in, now the second one is in. 
and take a look at that. That's a completely different resistance. This is 740 ohm and on the other one we had 71. So as you see guys my problem is most likely malfunctioning sensor on the right rear wheel. Uh, since there's such a huge difference in the resistance uh, from the working one and the one that is malfunctioning. So I'll try to replace it and then I'll let you know if it worked. I finally got the new ABS sensor delivered. Looks like that. And now we're going to test it out. So I'm going to apply same Plates. Now we're going to set it on resistance, same as last time. And now we put one here and the other one there oh, let's try the opposite we couldn't get any reading like that okay so as you see it's uh, 756 ohm which is very similar to the one we had on the left side the one that was working alright so I guess that it's only to switch the sensor and my car is going to be running very good and I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and if you'd like to see more Peugeot 307 check my channel out, I've got plenty of videos about this car and good luck with your Peugeot